This is part 152 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss if function in SQL Server. This function is introduced in SQL Server 2012. It returns one of the two values depending on whether the Boolean expression evaluates to true or false. If is a shorthand way for writing a case expression. We have the syntax here. First, we specify the name of the function and the first parameter is the Boolean expression. If this Boolean expression evaluates to true, then the second parameter that is true value will be written. If this Boolean expression evaluates to false, then the third parameter false value will be returned. Let's look at an example. I'm going to first declare a variable. Let's call it gender ID and this is going to be of type integer. And I'm going to initialize that to a value of 1 and then I'm going to use if function. So with the if function the first parameter is a boolean expression. So our boolean expression is going to be this if at gender id equals 1. So this is a boolean expression. If it evaluates to true then we want to return male. If it evaluates to false then we want to return female. And let's give this column an alias. Let's call this gender. So let's execute this and see what we get. Notice the Boolean expression evaluates to true. So it returns the true value, the second parameter, which is male. If we set it to a value of 2, then this expression will evaluate to false. So it returns the false value, which is the third parameter, female in this case. So we now get female as expected. Now let's look at an example of using this if function with table data. So on the left here we have employees table. In this table we have got three columns, ID, name and gender ID. Now based on this table we want to write a query which is going to retrieve name of the employee, gender ID and then the gender. One will be male and two will be female. There are two ways we can achieve this. We can either use case statement or if function. Remember if function is a shorthand way for writing a case expression. First let's see how to achieve this using case statement. So here is our employees table. Within our result set we want the name of the employee, we want gender ID and then we are going to use case statement to retrieve gender. So case when gender ID equals 1 then we want to return male else we want to return female and we want to end our case statement and let's give this column an alias let's call this gender let's execute this query and see what we get so wherever we have gender ID 1 we get male and wherever we have gender ID 2 we get female as expected so here we are using case statement to achieve this now we can replace this case statement with if function because if function is a shorthand way for writing a case expression so what I'm going to do is instead of using this case statement let's use the if function so with if function the first parameter is the boolean expression and the second parameter is going to be the value that we want to return if the boolean expression evaluates to true and the third parameter is going to be the value that we want to return if the boolean expression evaluates to false let's give this column an alias let's call this gender and let's get rid of this end alright so let's execute this and see what we get notice we get exactly the same result and we have you know the case statement and a function right here the same queries that we have just discussed. Thank you for listening and have a great day.